Hello everyone and welcome back to Realism Overhaul Sandbox in Kerbal Space Program 1.8.1. In this video I present the insane improvement to the N1, um, one that perhaps many people have thought of, but uh, not every Kerbal player would be able to put into practice, and uh, that is the one where you put an extra stage at the bottom. Yes. Yes. Well, we saw the RD 270s last time, and perhaps you might have thought, what happens if you have a stage with 30 of those? And that's what we have here. Now, uh, I still have a ring of 6 at the center and a ring of 24 on the outside. I had to stagger the ring of 24, though, to get them to fit properly. Yeah, so that's a little bit awkward. But we're at 13,000 tons, and it's not the most efficient thing ever. The structural uh, mass of this is pretty heavy. The utilization on this stage is only 60%. So we're still going with the, they're going to use really big spheres idea. So yeah, low utilization. And we still have the, the existing first stage here. But now, that stage is not bearing the... Um, the brunt of launch and all the aerodynamic forces and having to steer through the atmosphere, especially not having to steer through the atmosphere. On the other hand, this stage is still going to have a plumbing problem. But uh, so would I would I call this a safe rocket? No, it's an improvement only in terms of payload capacity, not so much in terms of safety. I've called it the N-OK or N-OK. It stands for not OK, to be honest. Uh, that's how it is. We've still got the rest of the stack up here. It's all as it was before. And um, we're going to see if it can carry a 400 ton payload. That's what I've got here, 399.562 tons. And these numbers don't make any sense right now because the staging, that we've got all this hot staging going on, so it doesn't show me the right numbers. But yeah, so let's see what happens with uh, this extra gargantuan stage at the bottom trying to lift this up. Now, people who watched my live streams might have seen me do a different insane N1. And that was one where I slapped the shuttle's SRBs on the side of the first stage. And that didn't end up being very useful. After all, the N1 isn't short of... I didn't deploy the grid fins. N1 isn't short of thrust to weight ratio anyway. And the SRBs aren't there to give you extra delta V. They're there to improve your thrust to weight ratio. So it wasn't a very good option. Uh, this is much better, obviously. SAS on, throttle is up, and I don't know how loud this is going to be, so hold on to your ears. Here we go. And launch. Oh, we've actually got some frame rates, sort of. I don't know how much talking I can do during this. It doesn't really matter how far away I go. Alright, we're past the speed of sound. Uh, we're turning too fast, I think. I wanted to limit gimbling on some of the engines, the outer ring or something. Uh, these don't have throttling and I forgot to action group a set to turn off. Oh well. I guess it really doesn't matter how close we are. Okay, air start of the first stage. Ooh, that's not good. Okay, well, that stage ended a little bit early because I didn't realize those panels were gonna eject inward instead of outward and 
we sort of destroyed the first stage. I mean, I call this the first stage still. We uh, destroyed the RD-270 stage. Yeah. Well, it's not like we were trying to make it recoverable or anything, right? I figured out the NK-15s or NK-33s, I think these are currently configured to NK-15 actually, um, should be able to light in the air since they're just modified NK-43s or NK-15Vs. Well, or the NK-15Vs are modified from them with longer nozzles or such, but I don't think it'd be that difficult to figure out how to air light them. I think we can carry more than 400 tons, it looks like. Okay, hot staging. Hopefully. Did it hot stage? Um, oh, I guess I pressed spacebar, but it didn't seem to do it. Alright. A little bit of a hot stage malfunction there. Okay, let me just uh, resort this out. I don't know if it's safe to dump the fairings, so I'll wait until orbit. It's probably better that way. We've got way too much Delta V here anyway. We can carry a heavier load than this. Okay, hot staging. Oh well, fairings and separation. That's convenient. Yeah, we, we've, uh, well, I mean, not a lot more. I mean, this is 400 tons, remember. So we've only got 1,000 meters per second. It's not a very efficient stage in this case. We should probably delete this stage altogether and just have the second stage finish it. Because, I mean, you only need th three stages to orbit. So the, uh, the RD-270 stage and then the first stage of N1 and second stage of N1 are what really should propel this uh, payload. And we could probably then be able to propel... Uh, nearly uh, 500, 600 tons like that if we just dump this stage. Okay, well that's that's orbital. Um, so what this is showing us is we've got one or almost 130 tons of fuel left in this stage and then add that to the, the payload there. That means we can get 530 tons into orbit. Let's just test that out. Um, and then we'll test to see what happens when we don't have uh, the stage at all, I think. Okay, and to quote a much more famous Kerbler than myself, again! separation. Okay, this time was clean. I upped the ejection force on those panels. Technically there would have to be some sort of structure or like that on it, but I don't have anything that big. So I actually put a 520 ton payload on top of here, and the reason I went with 520 is because the rocket is 13,000 tons, so it's a nice clean 4% of the total rocket's mass as payload. It was mathematically pleasing. Okay, hot staging. And separation. And we're on the... whichever stage, second or third, whatever, however you want to look at it. I sort of think of the RD-270 stage as a zero stage. Okay, hot staging and separation. 
I think we can let go of the fairings. Looks like we've got a little bit more than we need for orbit, but it's a long stage, so let's not count it just yet. But 520 tons, I'm pretty satisfied with that. That that's the capacity as long as we retain this stage, but how much could it carry without this stage? And that's good enough for me. So, uh, 520 tons plus. It could be more. And, uh, but, yeah, we can definitely expect 520 tons from this. Now, without this stage, let's see what it can do. Okay, I decided to go with a 550 ton payload. And that's because, basically, we're trying to save the empty mass of the third stage. It doesn't give that much benefit to dump the third stage. Of course, in terms of price, it would. But, uh, and complexity, of course. But we'll see whether it can do 550 tons. So, ignition. And launch. Different sound than usual. I swear, the sound is much more violent this time. Oh, I forgot the grid fins. Okay, hot stage. Oh no, it blew up that stage this time. I wonder why. Oh. Wait. Pick up. Okay, whatever. Uh, well, well, we're still going. Uh, didn't get quite as much out of the first stage as I would have liked. I would like all of it, you know. Maybe we'll separate the fairings early or something. Just to compensate for the failure there. Otherwise, I don't think we have enough Delta V, though again, it's hard to say because of the hot staging stuff. Well, let's see, uh, fairing set, will it be safe? Ooh, well, that's, ooh, ooh, okay, we're good. Still a bit tight though. But again, we'll see if that's just a matter of, um, hot staging. Okay, ignition and separation. No, not quite enough. Yeah, we're not going to have quite enough, so it doesn't seem to have a whole lot of benefit to dump the third stage, but then again, the third stage doesn't seem to help. Uh, we probably could have lifted 520 tons with this, so yeah. It's a close call. Can't say that this is the most optimal stage right now either. Maybe if we had lost this uh, interstage decoupler structure, that would have been better since that has uh, extra mass and we could just put the payload fairing directly on the tank. So yeah, 550 tons there. Okay, well. With this failure about 200 meters per second or so short, I'll uh, leave it here. We have done enough with the insane version of the N1, I think. So yeah, it's not quite the monument launcher, but you know it has a charm all of it is all, all of its own. Uh, the list, the last iteration of it, sort of looked like a handbell or something, but very conical, you know, very much different than the monument launcher setup. So anyway, with that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.